Hi everyone, I'm retired meteorologist Pat Prokop. The day is Monday, August the 12th, a hot and humid day here in Savannah, but I'm watching a couple of things going on weather-wise, uh, locally and then not locally. Uh, around the tropics, we're keeping an eye on newly formed storm Ernesto. I don't think it's going to be affecting us, but if you have interest in Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, it's going to be affecting them and also later in the week, near the end of the week, for the islands of Bermuda. But for, Hi, well, Pat. Hey there, Wally. What's up? I'm Wally. I changed my shirt. What do you think? Red. I like it. It looks good on you. I have a question. How high is the Ogeechee River? Well, let's take a look at the rivers. Uh, as Wally mentioned, the rivers are very, very high across our region. So with that being said, let's take a look at some of the gauges on the Ogeechee River at Eden. And the gauge today uh, has been falling, and it's, it has fallen below the major flood level of 16 feet. Now, it was up to 17.97 feet uh, or, uh, throughout the weekend. The water still flowing over the Mor over Morgan's Bridge at 204. As a matter of fact, looking at the... Uh, uh, report from that area there near Ellabel, Morgan's Bridge on 204. Uh, it is still way up there, but it is now beginning to fall. That's a good sign there. And uh, uh, it will continue to fall now uh, uh, for the next several days as it gets uh, hopefully back below flood stage by the end of the week. And what about Richmond Hill? It has been going crazy in the Richmond Hill area uh, and a Western Chatham County area around Kings Ferry where the water flowing over the bridge at Kings Ferry. And it looks very um, uh, high there still with flooding going all along the Ogeechee River Valley across Chatham County and Bryan County line. Uh, over there, particularly uh, in and around the Kings Ferry area. But uh, it's still above, but the good news, the water has crested. It is now slowly falling, and that fall will continue uh, for the next several days, hopefully back below the flood stage pretty soon. Oh, my. Well, okay, then. I sure hope the river falls below flood stage very soon. Okay, Wally, yeah, okay. I think so. See you later, Pat. See ya. You know, speaking of river stages, let's look at some of the historic Ogeechee River levels at Eden. And going back to 1980, it was up to 16.77 feet on March the 19th. In 1998, one of the more or recent ones, I remember that event where the water did flow over Morgan's Bridge and Kings Ferry. It was at 17.15 feet. Uh, that was uh, uh, March 3rd. Uh, uh, rather March 15th 1998 and then you have to go back to 1936 when it was up to 17.2 feet on March the 14th and then on in 1925 21 and a half feet and then in 1929 it was up to 22.0 feet and then this event measured out at 17.97 feet that's the third highest level ever now I used to have a, a, a caller uh, would uh, contact me when I was working at WTOC. His, his name was Ernie Davis, really nice guy. Uh, he worked for the railroads, and I think he was in his 80s or lower 90s when he, when he you know, was talking to me back in the 80s about the Ogeechee River. And he said in 1929 and 1925, he witnessed, as he worked on the railroad, he witnessed the Ogeechee River and the Savannah River touched each other in Effingham County on those two events. Both rivers had swollen up so much uh, that just about the entire Effingham County was under river water at that time. So uh, with that being said, let's uh, uh, go back from the rivers into the tropics right now. And uh, the tropics, we're going to keep an eye on Ernesto, which is forming over here in the Atlantic Ocean. Let's bring this over here. There is the Terminator right there. The sun is setting uh, in the Atlantic Ocean. It's now almost 6 o'clock here in Savannah. So uh, we're getting about 9 o'clock, 8, 8 o'clock over here in the uh, tropical Atlantic Ocean. And the storm is getting a little bit better organized. There's Puerto Rico right there in the northern Virgin Islands over here in the uh, Leeward Islands over here. And uh, the storm is going to be continuing to move off toward the east. Let's take a look at the National Hurricane Center, uh, their latest forecast. It's going to have that storm curving off to the north, well east of the U.S. coastline. However, as again I mentioned over here in the uh, uh, Virgin Islands and Bermuda, it's going to be passing over, not Bermuda, that's Puerto Rico. Bermuda's up over here. Uh, over here in the uh, Puerto Rico area, uh, tropical storm warning is in effect. Now let's take a look at some of the expected rainfall uh, possibility with this storm. And I'm going to look at that right here. 
and the rainfall is expected to be quite heavy uh, over into the southeastern and eastern portions of Puerto Rico. Uh, lesser amounts over the central and western portion of the island, uh, and, and then also over here in the Virgin Islands. Uh, rainfall four to six inches possible in portions of uh, southeast and southern Puerto Rico, and extreme eastern Puerto Rico, perhaps six to eight inches of rain. Uh, could accumulate there as the storm moves in through. Fortunately, it looks like non-hurricane strength, but still strong gusty winds. Again, their big problem, similar to what we just had here, is the heavy rain. Looking at the um, ECMWF, the Euro European Center for Medi Medium Range Weather Forecast. That's what the ECMWF, the European model. Okay, it shows the uh, storm uh, over here uh, and uh, uh, to the east southeast of the windward islands let's put this into motion if i can find it there it is uh put it into motion you can see it gathering a little bit of strength and organization as it skirts by the virgin islands in puerto rico uh, i think this model here is a little bit further eastward than all the other models uh, but anyway it shows the storm non-hurricane strength as it passes by puerto rico uh, still going to dump some heavy rains out there but then it picks up organization and uh, it comes into an area of more conducive environment for tropical storm development and hurricane development. And sure enough, it's expected to do that. And the um, Bermuda, where are you? There it is right there. There's Bermuda right there. There's Bermuda right there. And you can see the hurricane passes, according to this model, just to the east of the islands of Bermuda with very strong winds, though, uh, and, and heavy rains. Let's look at the, uh, the GFS model. And uh, I might have to go into the another time uh, earlier this morning here and put it into motion. And there you can see it um, also going a little bit toward the west of Bermuda. Bermuda is right there, that area right there. So, yeah, concern about the areas of Bermuda with this uh, Hurricane Ernesto. Other than that, not much else going on in the tropics. So we got a reprieve. As a matter of fact, let's go to my uh, Savannah weather page of savannapat.name and uh, I want to show you this the uh, well, the current forecast is calling for uh, partly cloudy uh, to uh, with a chance for showers and thunderstorms for the next three days and hot and humid but then we're going to dry out somewhat as the temperatures will drop a little bit not as hot in the upper 80s but the dew points uh, a, a conservative measurement of humidity is going to be dropping and that's going to make it feel better outside a little bit more comfortable not as humid and with that we're going to have a drying out uh, uh, period as well so that's really really good all this rain that we had across the area and by the end of the week Friday Saturday and Sunday it looks like a great weekend shaping up highs in the lower 90s with lower humidity so that's good news but I also want to show you this the uh, six-week weather outlook not a forecast it's an outlook and it's calling for temperatures to be averaging a, a slightly above normal, but then around normal, then a slightly above normal. But look at the rainfall. All for the next six weeks, it's forecasting below normal rainfall. Now, that doesn't mean we won't have any rainfall. It just means that the rainfall values will be below the normal. Normal rainfall, uh, for example, for the uh, middle and end of August is still uh, about an inch and a half per week. So we could see, you know, that much. If we had an inch of rain, that's still below normal. So, okay. Uh, anyway, I'd like to thank all my uh, viewers that have been uh, helping me with the uh, my webpage and my uh, YouTube channel right here and my uh, Facebook pages. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate that. And if you'd like to help, you can also uh, help, help me by just hitting like on the button below. Uh, hit the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And also, uh, you could, you know, look at my Patreon page or buy me a cup of coffee. You know, I love coffee. Right now, though, it's too hot. I'm drinking water. I was working out in the yard earlier this morning. Mm. Yard, uh, very humid out there. I was soaking wet when I finished. Anyway, uh, thank you for all of those who have helped me with this uh, uh, YouTube channel and my other uh, social media sites. So thank you very much. All right. So, you know, the, the weather looks promising for the next several days for us. So I'm really looking forward to some drier, less humid air to move in across the region. We'll keep an eye on Puerto Rico for you if you have interest out there or the, uh, uh, the Bermuda area uh, over the next several days. So with that being said, and uh, from Wally, <laughs> bye.